Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Welcome to the breakfast show. Trading idea with Smart Roby, the beginner level. That's right. I hope the weekends that you all had was uh, enjoyable, just like me. You know, just still visiting within the inter district, I suppose, <laughs> because complying to the MCO, and I do think many of you would also comply to the MCO, no doubt about it, but at least uh, there was a little bit of uh, uh, time that we could able to travel in the family, especially four of us in the car, you know, I have my uh, two children with me and not able to, you know, travel within and able to go to a uh, local restaurant to enjoy the food delegation, uh, which is important. But let's not talk about that let's talk about the stock market that's right the stock market uh, having said that still continue to move sideways especially in the context of our KLRC market so let's not waste any more time welcome you all to the trading idea with smart roby show in here and thank you for sharing this post or this live video in your timeline so more people could enjoy it of course as i said before if you have any stocks that you want me to look at just type uh, type it into the comment i'll be happy to look at it at the end of this show over here now let's get on to something which is more important this morning in our breakfast show it's no other than the agenda what we have set up for you today is Monday and we are at episode 36, that's right, which is the 22nd of February. It's already been uh, almost one and a half month to year 2021. It's been interesting, as I said before, uh, we did not see the big sell-off which we were expecting in the KLSL, but no doubt there were some corrections and we're seeing that and right now if you see uh, today is the beginners level we'll be talking about the pentagon guider we're we'll looking at the trading plan and also we'll review some of the trading plan that we've done uh, a couple of weeks ago because of the uh, festive season that we have we are not able to run it and it depends on what day is the breakfast show is shown in here of course we will look at it right now but what i want to share with you uh, definitely is the uh, let's switch to a bigger chart. It's the KLCL right now, okay? Now, the KLCL right now, we are at, uh, let me just blow this up a bit. You can see we are at red pentagon. That's right. Now, we have red pentagon. That meaning the market is likely to move sideways or towards the downside. We do have a very nice support there around 1560. Having said that, if the market were to break through that 1560, uh, it should go a bit lower, but I doubt it. One reason why is because we have the all and uh, what we have the uh, gas and oil prices continue to go higher uh, as of last Friday, and we we'll talk about the WTI crude oil going higher, and some of those stocks, energy stocks, are starting to make up in here. And there's also talk about interest rate, and we will look at some of those highlight going into the. Uh, topic that we talk about. Do take note, the red pentagon is out, which means many of the stocks likely to see a bias to the downside. So do take note of that one in here. All right, let's move on to what we have for you in our BUSA headline. That's right. Now, in our BUSA headline, definitely first one is this stock called VDAT. Uh, usually a construction and oil and gas player. But if you look at it, you know, when you see this kind of headlight, especially if you are a beginner, just type in VDAT and you want to look at the stock price and you can see why is this, you know, continue to go down all the way down. VDAT uh, was uh, 3rd of January. It was 75 cents and right now it's 45 cents in here and you can see a loss making company of course in here and that's why uh, for those of you who, who are beginner when you just don't buta buta just buy la stocks you know things like that always use the red pentagon as an indicator when you want to do your timing and definitely this would have prevented a disaster now if you want to look at vdat having said that for all this news that is out here today on long-term asset just merely wait for the uh, green pentagon. A very simple way to look at the market, all right? So let's switch off and get on to our next news. Now, next news is about the banks, which we talked about uh, earlier on at the beginning. And a lot been said about it. Uh, having said that, a lot of analysts are projecting a lower GDP growth for 2021. So what does that mean? A lower 2021, it does means that 
That's why our market is stuck. Lah. Cannot go higher, isn't it? Right? Some are talking about 4.0%, some are 4.9%. Early on, they were forecasting a higher around maybe 5 to 7 Now it's below uh, 5% in here. That doesn't look very optimistically uh, for our market. And then we say that I do agree with a lot of the analysts that he's talking about. Now, the second issue from this article talks about the banking side, uh, the interest rate. Now, what do you think? Do you think interest rate... Uh, do you think interest rate is going to go up or is going to go down? Type it in there. Uh, in the coming years, of course, uh, having said that, we like interest rate to stay low. But having said that, uh, the analysts did talk about one of the report in here said that the uh, interest rate is likely to stay unchanged because there's not going to be much of an impact reduced even if they reduce the, the interest rate because they need more government pumping the stimulus. Of course, we have seen the COVID-19, uh, the biotech uh, Pfizer has arrived and we saw a lot of the heavy armor truck protecting as if it's gold, isn't it? And also it did arrive in Penang and some other states. So that will see uh, more days. As, as the news coming out, you'll see more and more this kind of news coming out and definitely, hopefully, we are able to break out the uh, 1600 level in there. But of course, do check out daily the KLCI uh, news. Wait for that green Pentagon. Be very, very patient. And those of you who have attended some of our Pentagon Guider, Pentagon Guider portfolio simulation and you will know those rules being given up to you. Use that one, all right? And if you're ready to upgrade, just use some of the plugins that we have. If not, you can just use Smart Roby and share with your friends and you will get the extra 200 credit in here. All right, let's move on to our next news about Fortune and uh, Make and Fortune Time. Now, this was a last Saturday uh, news talk about, you know, how much people make money. But the lesson learned from here is actually sector analysis that's right sector analysis so a lot of time when we are beginner we tend to buta buta uh you know uh you know buy things when people say it and after <laughs> we lost money then we start to learn right well i suppose we as adults we learn it that way unfortunately when we educate our children we tell them take the lesson take the lesson take the lesson right and, and take the class take the class you know so it's always you know what we tell our children and what we do is simply different. We adults always learn faster when we lose money. <laughs> do you agree with me? If you agree with me, in here, give me a thumbs up, isn't it? So why we say this is because uh, this uh, article really highlighted, you know, uh, about the rubber glove mania and people, you know, I still get some letters and also posting from you all who have bought rubber glove, you know, top glove, maybe around eight, nine dollars and what to do with it. As you will know, my standard answer to you, if you cannot cut, Cut twenty percent lah. <laughs> Cut thirty percent lah. Yeah. Of course. Then the next thing they'll reply, very painful. Well, you got only two choice. Either you see your money stuck there, or you look for seafood. Those FB seafood or any of those seafood out there will tell you, you know, rubber glove is going to come back. Just hold on to it. But when you see the other sectors, right? Like what? technologies you know we have seen the industrial products and right now the energy sectors are coming back in here so that's why i continue to repeat and repeat the sector analysis very important and last friday in our breakfast show i've shown you how to do that one but today we'll just keep it simple for our beginners friend here those of you who are watching with you and how many of you are beginner if you are beginner just type one so at least i do know some of the contacts that you've seen so far in here all right Okay, let's move on to uh, the next news that I have is the big technology push. That's right. Now, the big technology push last Friday. Okay, let's let's bring out uh, revenue. And this was, uh, you know, um, was uh, highlighted by our Prime Minister, I think last Friday at around noon about the, uh, the continued push for e-payment gateway. You know, all this uh, push for uh, getting more... Uh, cashless society like what is happening in China. So there's a big agenda called the My Digital. There's like some time frame, the year 2020, the year 3030. Read all about it on the edge. And uh, that has really benefited two stocks in mind. And you all know, I'm kind of very favor of revenue, which I also have to. Uh, having said that, uh, my average price is very low, lah, huh? around uh, less than one ringgit. Lah. Now it's already $2 something, okay? So, um, 
These stocks, as I said before, I already mentioned time and time again, it's a bit like PayPal of Malaysia. Of course, there's also GHL system. And every time when you go over to the uh, uh, payment, if you see a white uh, so-called uh, uh, the, um, the, those uh, credit card payment machines, the white one, that one belongs to revenue. And that's actually tied to the Hong Leong and also uh, public bank. So having said that, this has been great. So the next question many of you would ask, can buy a revenue, okay? Now always go back to the trading plan, okay? Go back to the trading plan and look at it. Now, if you have bought revenue, which we did choose it for our Wednesday session, which is the intermediate, I think we chose back somewhere back in uh, mid, mid January and that is still, remember, they didn't touch the ATR stop loss. And what are the ATR stop loss you can see? The ATR stop loss, it's the one that has the red line just below the uh, index. It hasn't been touched, so you should generally run it. I think many people fail to uh, run their profit or fail to follow the plan. It's because, again, going back to their agenda, whether you want to be a trained trader or want to be a trained investor. Being trained trader, there is a certain I would say discipline you need to follow, isn't it, right? And and uh, many of our students who have you know sort of attended uh, many of our talks as well come to our paid uh, workshop and also to our master class have definitely ben benefited because there is what we call a twelve month or fifteen months mentorship that we try to you know push you and, and train you up. So at least you know going forward for year twenty twenty one and even year twenty twenty two, you will become a new trader, well trained and well invested. That's always been our agenda to really train you and then you will progress and make more and more wealth for yourself and for your family. Else, you know, it's very, very disheartening that many you of you struggle year in, year out and, you know, maybe just doing slightly better than fixed deposit in here. Because with all the tools and all the technology that is pushed out by Trade BSA and Smart Robbie, certainly many of you would have done much better. Now, going back to this story, why it is important in here is as long as the push and remember, I did talk about the 5 plus 1 global mega trend. You all remember the 5 plus 1 global mega trend? If you do, I always refer to the back one. And of course, I will refer it from time to time on my Wednesday night talk. All right, so that's something good for you in here. Let's push on to our next news uh, is the QL. <laughs> that's right, not so much of it. It's our trade VSA. Uh, okay, sorry. To our trade VSA. Uh, the QR code in here, especially some of you uh, who mentioned, asked me what is a line change, what is a uh, confirm no supply and test. This is the QR code, which actually explains all of it. All right. And not forgetting the next news that I have for you, it's more on the US market in here. A lot has been said and continue to see uh, Dow Jones hitting higher and Dow Jones only rose one point over the weekend in here. And uh, having said that, some people said that, no, where is the time where we see correction? Now, having said that, I've uh, scanned through all the news that we have seen so far, the US market uh, likely to have some sort of prediction again this is not from me this is from the analyst in spring you know they always have to say some correction and i do think that the correction is important for the market to go higher having said that all right now let's look at some of the headlights that we have for our beginner uh, session that we've been doing since way back in november you could see this recent high jf tank made about 87 percent press metal 27 sl west 43 i know uh this morning the sl west has dropped i'm still trying to find out what has happened in there perhaps it did hit the profit target it did have the red pentagon in in there sign tax do full all has uh, done pretty well except for Syntex, which seems to be moving because it's not related to any of the technology. Uh, Pekka did pretty well, which we will examine. Uh, MPI 49% since 11 of December. JHM 34 and UWC at 25% uh, profit. Now, how many of you have actually got any of this stock from item 1 to item 9? If you indeed just type it in there, I want to know if this has been very beneficial for some of our past Pentagon idea that we have selected over the last one or two months in there. All right, just type it in there. Of course, right now we want to share with you the lesson learned from the past and uh, Pentagon trade uh, list on trading plan. Now, first thing definitely I want to bring out is the chart. You can see uh, in here the Pentagon. Uh, you can see right now on the hourly chart, uh, we have seen, uh, yes, uh, Solar West has sort of, you know, uh, dropped off today, right? It's holding up. 
uh, this morning was down 12% and it's still down 6% in here. Uh, the, the volume is pretty low. There could be some selling, but do take note of this uh, red pentagon that we have inside here. So having said that, I would just want to bring out, because we are talking about lesson learned, so I want to bring out the uh, trading plan that we did on the 25th of January. Let's look at the 20th. Now, how many of you actually did this uh, trading plan? Uh, if you have done it, just type it in there, trading plan, yes, uh, then I would know. You can see I very hardworking one, all right? Uh, I show you how I do the trading plan, right? <laughs> so you can see on the 25th of January, uh, okay, let's look at, uh, let me just push this aside. So let's do it together uh, since we are in the beginning, uh, beginner session in here. And uh, okay, here, ah, there you go. So on the 25th of January, which is somewhere here, that's right. If you have spotted much, much earlier, let's say, let's say spotted much, much earlier here, all right, you take some profit, you have gone in here to here, you at least got 30 5%. Now, how many of you actually went in after the Pentagon and how many of you went up only when the market go up uh, to $3 only buy? <laughs> Standard lah, that's right. Many of you not trained, isn't it? You always don't like to buy early, right? You wait, 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 and you $3 only wait, uh, buy, right? And guess what happened? Kena slap left and right. Standard one, this kind of thing. No, that's that's why I always keep saying, uh, it's always good that you want to really go in just after the Pentagon. Just like what we have um, also talked about SPH. But let's take a look at the, uh, the range. Now you can see here weekly and daily trend uh, broke out from the 206, which is around here. See the 206 level in here. Uh, look at that. Green Pentagon was first triggered on the 18th of January and best entry was on the 19th. Uh, at that time, you'll be 7.5%. But we enter on the 25th. Lah. Okay, 25th is here. Here, isn't it? Oh, 25th, yeah. See, 26th, break out also, right? Ah, 26 is if you take it from 26 onwards, ah, up to ah 40 percent. Some that's why I said that. Ah, remember those of you who done our Pentagon, our Pentagon. What's the target profit we always have? Ah, 30 percent, isn't it? Already hit it, lah. Uh, of course, many of you not trained, uh, don't want to attend class one. Uh, just like you here, 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 a bit slow, lah. But never mind, it's okay because you're all beginners. We have to give ourselves a bit of room for mistakes, I think that's important too. When I was uh, a beginner too, I made a lot of mistakes too. And I'm sure you will make those mistakes, but don't make it every year. Lah. Same mistake every year, 2022 also same mistake, 2023 same mistake, don't. We make the mistake, we move on, we learn our lesson, You know, we will do something about it. Isn't that great? Isn't that what I wanted to motivate you to do that? And that's one of the reasons why we do this uh, trading plan that you see in here. All right, so the price to enter was 229 to enter SL West. Stop loss was 181. Profit target 244, okay? All right, or Red Pentagon, whichever lah. Red Pentagon will be out on 27, and uh, uh, or your 244 lah, whichever the case is. So, I mean, if that is a, so most of you want, I, uh, you know, again, going back to, did you have a trading plan or not? Uh, I have, okay? So the holding period is for two months. I even put that 25th of March, all right? So that's how I want to review it. Of course, right now, uh, where is the Pentagon? Then you need to look at the, uh, uh, okay, uh, what do you want to do with it? Just type out SLOS and look at the exit strategy. Okay, exit strategy right now. Let me blow this, this chart up here. Okay, and you can see, I uh, think to exit at 261. Okay, 261. Oh, yeah, it broke through the, okay. Stop loss, Pentagon already, red Pentagon and bearish. Profit target 360, uh, if you're still in there. Uh, if you have time, look at Pekka. Ah, Pekka and Hekta, okay. So I leave it up to you, <laughs> what you want to do. Okay, those of you who have SL West. Of course, if you ask me for the longer term, I still have it. I have not gotten out of it, right? Because again, you need to have a real plan. If you just merely trading one, just follow the smart robby. If you have a longer term, like what I talk about, the value growth investing cost that I have, right? Then it's a different time frame altogether, okay? Because uh, depending on how you want to value it, the market, but Today, uh, if you those of you who wanted to enter, then just look at the trading plan, okay? Just look at the trading plan in here, and you can see all in all, uh, you know, you want to, uh, if you break through the uh, resistance level in here, okay, now this is, all right, okay? So that's the trading plan. I think that's an, uh, that couldn't be 322. Let me get back to you on that ST resistance that, okay? Oh yes, it is 322. 
322 because you wanted the market to go a bit higher. That's right. I think that's that's fine. Okay, uh, so that's one of the lessons learned. Let's look at the next one. Uh, let's bring this down again. Okay, and bring this down again. So we have seen one uh, that dropped off. Let's look at another lesson learned that we picked this on the 28th of December. Okay, now let's bring up the 28th of December. Uh, okay, 28th of December, this would be the one. And uh, let me just bring this up in here. Okay, this is Pekka, which we picked on the 28th of December, not too long ago. <laughs> so you can see this 13th of January, uh, 28th, yeah, just around here. So if you're on the 28th, uh, you will pull this down. Okay. Okay, 28th of December, somewhere around here. Uh, if you're not exited, then you'll be in about 38% in here. Okay, let's look at it. Uh, weekly, there was a weekly resistance at 164. Okay, uh, breaking 164 would be the fourth time breakout. Now, every time when the market break a bit higher, let me just put this a bit bigger for you. Uh, since there will be, uh, go back to a bigger chart here. Now, every time when the market break, okay, third time or fourth time, very important one. This tells you the market can go higher. Price to enter was 164, stop loss was 139. Did we hit the 139? Let's take a look. What is the low here? The low, uh, I just put it here. La. Low was what? Low was 148. Okay, 148. Now, now, now you understand, right? When you see a red pentagon, then you panic, isn't it? Correct. But remember item number five. What did we do in item number five? We put in a stop loss. That's right. You know, one of the ways uh, usually when you used to, you used to teach some of the people, right? You say you give this trading plan to your broker. Let him or her execute. And that way, that would be so much better in here. All right. Now, let's look at the profit target. 176. Did we hit 176? Yeah, I think we did. We hit 176. Okay. Or higher. Now, so what is the plan here? If you're going by item number six, you can take partial profit, isn't it? So that's one of the things that you want to do, being a trained trader and a trained one. Holding period, two months. So we bought it, uh, let's say, assuming we bought it around uh, 28. Of December on this on this trade in here, uh, then uh, we enter. Sorry, we enter 28. Lah, not bought. Lah, huh? enter 28. We hold it for two months. So uh, 29, 28. Lah, yeah, 28 of February. We will exit this. Hold it for two months. And it's important. Once you take the money, let's say uh, you enter 28, you hit 38. Or, or of course, some people say, hey, why I, I I want to you know hold so short? I hold it longer. Lah. Can 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 again going back to our Pentagon portfolio strategy. When you hold a period, when you make your money, AD, you rotate out. Now, remember, I always talk about those uh, things that we talk about in our value investing because right now we are just showing how the execution. Now, those of you remember when we do uh, a lot of the, the, the classroom, uh, so-called uh, uh, lesson, 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 right? Now, this is the part where we actually do the practical side of it, right? We learn those lessons, let the profit run. Now, you can see how we are actually doing it today. And that's what the, le the uh, lesson learns. It's something that I want to impart to all of you uh, from the two case study that we have. Uh, the SL West, which we selected last week, and also the PECA, which we selected 28 December. That you will know if the stock were to run, okay? It has to go a bit higher. Right? So when you buy certain stocks that is not moving much, just sort of moving sideways, then you want to take a look, especially those of you who have rubber gloves still stuck there. I owe 90% of my money in rubber gloves. When I see this kind of stock, uh, Martin explained in the, um, uh, on the breakfast show, uh, all run now, hey, I can learn something. No? Maybe I can sort of you know sell a bit of the top glove. <laughs> I think it's important that all of us, we all go through this psychology cleansing uh, or what we call awakening when we see opportunity when we see opportunity then we were able to do something else most of the time when we don't have a clear mind you know uh, we are not able to you know get those things up all right so i hope those two case study i know i emphasize this a lot here because i want to get my message through uh, uh very well in here all right let's let's look at the next week one okay uh again uh we have Two stock pick, uh, RC cap and dialogue. Let's take a look. And I need to do this trading plan. Uh, else next week, <laughs> or next week, uh, when we come back again. Uh, uh, okay, RC capital. Okay, there you go. It's green pentagon and I, I'm not too sure how high you go. So I will bring out the uh, trading plan here. Okay. 
and we'll type that out too, okay? So that's it. Okay, the weekly and monthly, okay, daily, just type in there. Daily uh, has broken all what? Broken what? We've broken the old resistance, isn't it? Old resistance at what price? The old resistance was 282, okay? 282, okay? And weekly, let's look at the weekly chart here. Ah, weekly so, uh, is weekly is also green pentagon with an uh, bluish blue trend zone. Okay, so it does look like it's gonna go a bit higher too. Okay, let's look at the indicator. We switch back daily chart. Okay, uh, then we say uh, green pentagon on what date? Okay. The date is 16th of February, okay? 16th of February, 2021. Okay, what else we want to put? Uh, the market has some sort of a important price level. We can put that last. So we can say uh, important price level is 245, okay? And you can say here is support at, okay, let me just take this. Support at 245, okay? Uh, that was somewhere around in uh, February, okay? So mid-February, no, not mid mid-January mid to early February. And what date did we break the old high here? Okay, the old high was broken 283. Okay, 283 old high broken on what date? Okay, what date did we break this? Yes, we broke this on the 17th of February. Because usually when the market breaks up, we will see a bit of a pullback. Okay, 2021. Okay, what price to enter? Just like what we did for the SL West and the Pekka, we will enter now. Okay, 2805. Okay, stop loss, we use the ATR stop loss. Okay, so I'll uh, just go on to the uh, trading plan. Now oh, we use the exit strategy. Okay, exit strategy. Hey, no, this one, this side. Just type uh, RC Capital. Now remember, RC Capital, one of the earlier stocks which I actually mentioned. For uh, We bought it uh, for my clients around uh, around uh, 192. Okay, 192. It's a nice one in here, somewhere around here. Lah. Because remember, uh, those of you who uh, came to my Wednesday night talk, I did talk about this. And it was a uh, uh, Pentagon uh, Roby rating about 6, pay about 5% dividend. I think you all heard that one, right? So it was no surprise, just a matter of time uh, when the vaccine, they'll talk about all this vaccine, vaccine, and the market, boom, sudah jalan nadi. All right? Uh, go back and watch this, uh, one of those talks that I have. Okay, let's look at the stop loss right now and exit strategy. Okay, you can see exit strategy there. Uh, thing to exit, blah, blah, blah. Ah, two, five. Okay, I don't know whether this will be getting back. Okay, can you get me back? Okay, hang it here. Uh. Can get back, get, get back. Okay, good. Okay, so we are back. I apologize for the uh, hang system. So we are back. So uh, where we were, okay. Can you hear me? If you can hear me, just type one. I think you can hear me, right? Okay, so we were at the holding period. How long do you want to hold it? Okay, holding period is the... Uh, okay, uh, holding period, we usually go to trading plan. Okay, for our CE cap. And it's about two weeks to two months. So we just hold it for two months. Okay, so two months, which is now is February. So we're going to go down to somewhere May. Okay. May uh, 22nd, uh, actually it's uh, May, that's right. So May 2021. Okay, so we saved that one. All right, so that's it. We have one already. Okay, RCE Capital. Okay, so let's move on. Okay, let's, uh, we, we done that one. So we've chosen two. I'll just do one rather than two here. Okay. Okay, we done that one and let me just pull this down and we should be moving to our next segment. Okay, now of course, um, what we have always been saying is that uh, for 2021, we really focus a lot on the Pentagon Guider 
uh, trading portfolio strategy. Now, we've seen back in 2020, uh, we have achieved 106%. So right now, we are up about 7% on our portfolio. So for 30,000, 7%, which is not too bad, around $2,000. If you compare to the KLCI, it's still down 2%. So why do I do this is that this is the target that you must able to beat me. That's right. So you look at your own portfolio right now from January onwards. How much have you made? Right, right now we're about seven. If you are not doing better than seven percent, then you need to figure out. But if you're doing better than than seven percent, very good. Give yourself time. But if you're not doing better than seven percent, then you might want to think about you know following the portfolio strategy. This is like you know the classroom bar that we keep lifting it up higher and higher. Last year was hundred and six percent. This year was seven six percent. So keep that in mind because if you don't set any target for you, right on a what we call a weekly basis or monthly basis. Some of you might just fan up. You don't take it seriously. I'm like a teacher <laughs> setting you target, but we are still up 7%, right? So keep into mind. So this is why we do what we do here is to give you the education level that you want to. All right, thank you for staying on uh, despite of the small hiccups that we have. And we will look at now. These are the line change. Uh, things, uh, again, this is the QR code. And also don't forget, this Wednesday night, we will be doing another live FB talk, a very popular one on 9.30 p.m. this Wednesday. It's five lessons from the biggest stock winners of 2020 which I'll share with you some of the lesson learned and how are the also the current one, the top 2021 big winners and how are you going to do to make sure you get some of these big winners in here. And uh, not forgetting on the 2nd of March, do join us on 3 p.m. That's right, 3 p.m. for Warren Tuesday in here uh, for another live coverage for our um, warrant uh, with the KLSC with Macquarie for Mr. Leong Ka Ming, head of uh, warrant sales Macquarie in here. All right, right, right now, uh, we are in the segment that I'll be looking at some of your stocks that you have. That's right. Definitely a small token appreciation if you can. And if you like what you've seen so far with some of our trade ideas that we have with our trading plans, reviewing them, we have did the SL West and also the PECA do go over and like us and give us a review. This is the QR code. Just use your camera. Those of you who have a QR code, just use your camera. Go to all, you can go over to Smart Roby, review and give us a review so we can continue the feedback right now. Now, I'm just gonna go through some of the comments and the things that you have for your stock review. Uh, Michelle uh, did ask a question, said that uh, he found out Smart Roby to be free. Smart Roby is big. Uh, Smart Roby generally during the trading hours, there is a credit charge because we want to so-called um, offset the heavy loading of the cloud server during that time. So if you do it after office hour, it's uh, no charge at all. So just keep it in mind and everybody else in like there. I think you just need to use it more uh, normal for that one okay uh exit plan for okay uh, miss ding here exit plan for hw maleva and chari min yeah just use the exit plan now all right just follow the exit plan for maleva and chari min not a problem okay thank you uh alex for answering to michelle in here uh okay we'll look at the d next let's look at d next right now in here Okay, D next, no problem. <laughs> Just let it run. What is no problem with that? So D next, let's look at the exit strategy for D next. Okay, D next. Okay, D next. Uh, okay, some of you did ask me about uh, Omisti, Rubber Rex, Gunting. Uh, I will look at some of those that you have. Okay, D next. Uh, okay, let's look at the exit strategy. Very simple. Only every time when you ask me to review any stock, I'll just look at the smart Roby plan. So think to exit uh, at seventy-seven cents or eighty-two cents. Eighty-two is somewhere here, right? Eighty-two is around here, like eighty-two. So uh, if you had it, you'll probably be out yesterday, isn't it? But again, uh, 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 Yuki, what price did you go in? I hope you went in around. 25 cents and able to run the profit. If you use Smart Robbie uh, correctly, if not, then you have to ask yourself why you buy so high. La. <laughs> whether you want to be a trained trader or a trained investor and whether you have our real-time active package in here. Maybe it's time to, for you to upgrade the products that you have uh, in here. All right, let's look at the uh, next one. Uh, Genting Malaysia. Okay. Genting Malaysia. Genting Malaysia is... Uh, 
it's up that's right let me just refresh this again it's uh, retesting back the old one green pentagon here nothing wrong with it looks pretty good again go back to exit strategy Genting Malaysia okay exit strategy here and uh, 290 is the profit target or red pentagon or whichever come first uh. okay check out uh, P-Trans and also Padini uh, if you have time for that one okay okay Heng Yuan we're gonna look at Heng Yuan okay let's look at Heng Yuan here okay Heng Yuan looks pretty okay no problem so right uh, you may see this thing drop up you get worried again always go back to the color of the trend zone like just now we talk about you know uh, SL West we have a yellow uh, zone trend zone this is still uh, what we call blue trend zone right so let's always take a look at that and also use the exit strategy that, that you have inside there okay uh, would gold price go up I think <laughs> it's a bit of our context inside here I think that one you can ask your investment advisor for that one okay uh, go okay let's look at the uh, next one we have uh, Roland is asking about uh, Genting Genting and Genting Malaysia they all work the same rubber racks okay rubber racks okay let's look at rubber racks Mm, rubber racks okay rubber racks are very easy to trade only this one you can see just now we say ah huh? uh, red pentagon yellow and let's look at uh rubber racks okay uh, okay rubber racks let me just type this <laughs> let me just type this probably yeah uh, uh, b b b b r e x Okay, let's look at rubber racks. Actually, it's quite easy to train if you just follow the smart Robbie. The question goes back to whether you want to follow or don't want to follow only. Okay, let's look at exit strategy over here. And you can see, thing to exit at 130. Okay, 130. 130. Okay, now you're already at 130. Yeah, 130 just down here. Okay, 130. Lah. That will be your lowest level. It's already red pentagon. Uh, however, rubber X may move sideways or downtrend. I can go higher. A bit ready to exit if you break through the ATR stop mark. So if you go below one dollar thirty, exit lah. All right. Uh, that's that's always been. You know lah. Rubber hasn't been doing so well and it's a lot of smart money. I know some people like to average down. I don't think that's a good idea. All right. In my personal opinion, you don't make money from averaging down. It's like you know something that is not working and you still want to try to repair it. <laughs> Just keep that in mind, right? And after all, you can see that Roby will have time ask you to talk about hexa or pekka pekka we review it right continue to go up isn't it so that's why we want to the whole mindset about Ro smart robbie is to teach you to think about you know something not working why i want to put put my money in there i hope uh, roland you learn something around okay uh, i won't uh, look at uh, roland uh, i'll look at something else i i think i comment about sl west okay uh uh let me just look at repeating same mistake that's right inca okay we got another one inca Okay, Inca, Red Pentagon. Okay, now if you have bought somewhere around here, I think that's okay. Take some partial profit. Usually when you see Red Pentagon, start to exit. But please don't tell me you bought at 239. Am I correct? Uh, I hope you didn't buy at 239. Try, ladies and gentlemen, students of Smart Roby, please do not buy high. Follow the <laughs> Pentagon. Learn how to read the chart. Use the timing in here right sometimes i get very disheartened to see why you buy so high smart robbie so didn't ask you to buy so high isn't it buy at the red pentagon if you buy here high it's okay but if the market were to break down you got the you got the chabot you got the exit ah okay uh top glove vaccine is coming and is murdering that one already know already what isn't it i think modern man right say the top glove uh vaccine is coming and and uh, this one is knowing so this is uh, okay uh, uh the time frame to hold is two weeks to hold right uh ding asked about the time frame to hold share is from two weeks to two months yes that's right two weeks to two months just follow the smart robbie okay uh let's look at some of the other uh we have grace michael here let me look at ice cream okay i uh, hope i got that right okay uh es ceramic oh very nice this is very nicely done again going back to green pentagon if you have gone in on the first green pentagon in here right you pulled it up you can see 74 percent profit 
All right, 74% profit, nothing of a solve. Of course, you can type it in the SS screen there and you will see that uh, there's some profit projection and, and target inside there. All right, okay. So I think I want to stop here and I do hope as a token appreciation, you can go over to this QR code and review us, all right, uh, uh, heartily as we have shared a lot of the good lesson to learn. Again, lesson learned is important. I think part and parcel of our train investor and train um, uh, in, train trader. Okay, uh, and last but not least, uh, for those of you who are thinking to upgrade your skills, right, for the April intake, all the lessons that you learned, you already probably learned about 20, 30% already from Smart Robbie. And it's time to look at also the new syllabus, which I'm very excited and already making money from Bitcoin. Remember the last batch of you, many of you who had came uh, for the, just before the Chinese New Year, right? We did talk a lot about Bitcoin inside there. And you can see Bitcoin 56, 60,000 coming soon. Can make money, cover back everything, <laughs> all the losses, right? Uh, again, uh, I did mention Bitcoin is not something that you want to sideline to it. You want to do it together with share and it's a fine, fine way to diversify it. Of course, Bitcoin still has a lot more room to go. If you are interested, do join us on the April 2021. And not forgetting, uh, our Telegram chat room continue to be free. Lots of good information. I know it's maybe a bit more, but again, the market is very, very liquid. So I hope that you will enjoy all the information that we have, the education material that we have, so you can learn and learn. So I will see you on Wednesday for our breakfast show and then on Wednesday night for the five top lesson learns for 2020. And thank you for coming and thank you for sharing your precious time with me so you can learn something too. Okay, bye-bye.